the dream I know Deep up my feelings for you Amid the alleged unlawful detention, Namdi Kanu's lawyer loses appeal against DSS police. But we know we have. Senior President Goswil Akbabio said that their legislative agenda will enhance the standard of living. All right, people, welcome back to this wonderful channel as we bring you back to back updates and information. I see they hot. In case it's your first time of joining this wonderful channel, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we drop our video so that now you go be the first to watch them. Maybe for no be small matter they happen for this country. Now, the matter where Kari Kong give on be said, amid the alleged unlawful detention, Namdi Kalu lawyer don't lose appeal against the DSS. The Court of Appeal sitting in Abuja on Monday dismissed an appeal that was brought to them by Mr. Felix Okonko, who is the one of the lawyer that represented the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazi Namdekanu. Okonko had gone to court to challenge his alleged unlawful arrest and detention by a combined team of security operative that include the police and the DSS and others that were also cited at the appellant in the matter where Iken Nachubiki and Okafu Gruchuku. The truth had in a fundamental right in enforcement proceeding they initiated before a high court of the federal capital territory Abuja accused the two security agencies of violating their rights following their unlawful arrest and detention on September 27, 2021. So they claimed that they were tortured, harassed and intimidated while in police custody. So in the judgment they delivered on March 24, 2022, Justice Samalia Batu found police liable for the unlawful arrest and detention of the appellant and awarded a cost of two million against it. So now Justice Batu declined to make any order against the DSS, stressing that the plaintiff did not disclose any cause of action against the agency. Mr. Felix was dissatisfied with the verdict. The litigant took the matter before the appellant courts, praying that they should hold that the DSS was also involved in their ordeal. So the further maintained that the two million costs imposed on police was a patry and urged the court to award them a bigger amount as damages for the gross violation of their rights. So delivering judgment in the matter on Monday, a three-member panel of the court in an unanimous decision dismissed the appeal for want of merit and substance. One of the lead judgments that was read by Justice Okonabang. The appellate court said that the appellant failed to establish how the trial court miscarried justice against them. So it was heard that from the video footage that was standard in evidence by the appellant, there was no way that DSS operative were found at the scene of the arrest in Anambra State, which was in the house of another lawyer represented Kano, Mr. Ifani Ijofo. The appellate court you know, disagreed with the appellant in their claim that the two million compensatory damages was grossly insufficient. So according to Justice Dabang, he said the decision to award compensatory damages was at the discretion of the judge. So he heard that the trial judge was right, having carefully considered the peculiar fact that circumstances that led to the unlawful arrest and detention of the appellant. More so, Justice Abang heard that appellant did not point out irrelevant fact in the judgment of the high court or disclose their status in the society, monthly or yearly income, and what they lost in the course of their detention. So in fact, in his opinion, he's going by the peculiar fact and circumstances of this case. He says that the two million compensation to the appellant was properly awarded. So he cannot afford the award because the appellant did not give any good reason for them to have been awarded a much higher amount. So in the final analysis, they said that the appeal lacks merits and it was accordingly dismissed. And the decision of the trial court is hereby affirmed that there is other as to cost. So other justices that concur with the late judgment were Joseph Alubumi Kayode, Oyewole and Ababelo Mohammed. When they do release this man, honestly don't tire from one problem to another. I don't understand though. They try at all too much like this. Even the IPOB indigenous, all they tire. So I guess I go like make a new one thought. Now contribution towards this matter. Moving on to the next one. The Senate has condemned in a very strong term Thursday killing of 16 officers and men of the 118 amphibious battalion at Okwama in Ugele's south local government area of Delta State by youth of the community. They described the incident as a perfidious height of barbaric and heinous crime. So in their statement they released by the chairman Senate Committee on Media and Public Affairs, Neto Yemi Hadirimodu, APC Kit South. He said that the Senate has charged the security authorities to smoke out the undesirable outlaws who put off the glowing light of those promising officers and men. 
that the Nigerian Senate has received with sadness the gruesome and unthinkable killing of 15 personnel of the Nigerian Army by armed group during a peace mission to Akoma community in Wheeli, South local government area of Data State. The Senate hereby sympathize with the Nigerian Armed Forces saying that they need their maximum cooperation, prayers and support at this trying period in our nation as they conduct operations all over the country to restore peace and stability in troubled locations. So they have saluted the courage of the departed military men as they have paid their supreme price, performing the ultimate act of service to the nation. So the Senate leadership, Gosu Lakpabio and all distinguished senators of the 10th Senate condemned this attack and they have conveyed their deepest condolences to the Chief of Defense Staff, Chief of Army Staff, and the Nigeria Army, officers and men of Operation Delta Safe, as well as the families, of all the personnel who has lost their lives. They have also consequently supported the President, the commander of the Nigeria Armed Forces, President Bola Metinobu's charge to the security authority to smoke out the undesirable outlaws who put off the glowing light of those promising officers and men made their souls rise in immortal peace. Honestly, we sympathize with anyone who has lost someone where shouldn't be chosen carefully by a leader. Nobody should die unjustly. So just civilians anywhere, the community target anywhere. No one should die unjustly. And every culprit should be brought to book. No case should be forgotten. In this one. <laughs> it's truly really devastating to hear about the killing of military personnel. Of course, the bravery of these individuals facing bandits and terrorists should be acknowledged. So it's unacceptable to open fire on them. If the military personnel were kidnapped or bandits, would the response be the same? It is important to address this double standard and ensure justice itself for all. We should you know, continue to advocate for fairness and respect for all lives. They can't open fire on kidnappers and bandits, but they can open fire on the military. That's so wrong. They should be brought to justice no matter what. The military will be seen as weak if they don't respond swiftly with brutal force. Two wrongs don't make a right, but again, it is what it is. So guys, I would like to know what you thought. Your contributions, your opinions are in the comment section. We'd love to hear from you. Once again, thank you all so much for staying to us. Really do appreciate it. But if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube page yet, please do us a favor to like and subscribe and also share. Don't forget to turn the notification bell to get notified when next we drop our video because I'm sure you don't want to miss out the channel the test news happening on social media. To all our amazing subscribers, thank you all so much for staying to us. To all our viewers out there, thank you so much for staying to us. On this note, we have come to the end of today's segment. Till I come your way next, stay safe guys. Bye.